Okay, so this tutorial, the, uh, my lesson for today is about uh, changing the material. So, uh, from our last session, we discussed about the marbles if you want to change the materials because they have the same color with the wallets. They have the same color with the wallets. Uh, white and then the marbles white. So, we cannot see the reflection on it because they are both of the same color. So what we will do is let's open our file. So the this one, the particle sprinkle, and then let's open this one. Okay. So now that this is our model, and this uh, another one is our wall, and then this is our um, the this kind of material, which is the countertop or table, whatever you rename it. And this one is the the material that we use for that is. Uh, let me zoom it for you. And it's that the stone marble. Yeah. So we have the stone marble and we will disconnect this one. Yeah. And then we will delete, press delete. And then there's no materials anymore in our table countertop. So what we're going to do is to open your file. Put the one in yeah. So now it's a column jar. In instances, na pwede na mangyari. Okay, so this one, wait lang ha, connect this one here, and exchange the materials. So once it's there, ready, you can uh, manipulate here, you know, from here. So let's go to our camera, and then let's go to our layout, then let's try to make, uh, yeah. So you can see, wala pa siyang shades, wala pa siyang, um, uh, the good glossiness on the area. So what we will do, since it's here already, so the materials is already appeared now. We go to EV and then we set the we, we check everything there. In short. Let's And also with this one, the shadow, don't forget to put a high beam here. So you can adjust the shadow depending on what you like. So if there is changes here, you can see darken and darken. So yeah. And next is we can also change the render. Okay. So uh, we can also use this one para nakikita mo yung actual from the render. This one is you for shading method is uh, ready from rendering the channel. So every time you move it, it's it's changing and changing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. Atom blank. Okay. So this guy. Okay. So uh, I noticed that the face of your uh, wall is not like this one. So what we need to do is when we yeah, when we click here and then you see this one yeah, the overlay. So the overlay you see what are the things, the materials that you have or the models that you have here on the project. And then when you turn it on, make sure you when you click this so you can see when it's all blue, it means yung face niya is pure and nasa harap ka. So, is there, you see the face orientation. So, you can see it around here also. Red kapag ka hindi siya nakaharap. Yan, red. Okay, sa pagka blue siya, nakaharap siya. Yan, so, it's, uh, it's very important. Baka kasi nakared siya, hindi natin alam. Okay, and then let's click this. One need for that. Okay, so um, we will need to edit the EV and then you can change the some of this. No? Then try to try to render. Edit, edit the exposure. Yan. Then kapag gusto mo madilim. So, malaking bagay din yan sa ating editing. Sa ating rendering. So, this one the exposure, the gamma, means the uh, color rhythmic of the 
yung image. Yan. You can adjust it. So, the important is you like what you're doing. And para ma-check natin yan, you can also check some of the some of the pictures of a donut uh, on a table, on a shiny table. Okay, so let's try to render this, what will happen. There. So, nakita mo that there is a, uh, already, the donut is here, but as you can see, the camera, the frame, it's too near of me, no? So, kailangan din natin i-adjust yun. So, para ma-adjust natin yun, what we are going to do is to, I think, we can we can um, we can adjust the camera. Okay, so, yun yung camera natin. We just need to make it a little bit far away from our and when you look at it, and when you look at it, ayan, so, medyo okay na siya. So, para pag nag-move si Donut, when you render that, hindi siya over malapit na lang sa atin. Ayan. And may enough space siya for the plate. 